Within this video, we're gonna cover how to set up a movie to play here inside of the Unreal Engine. Specifically, we're gonna go ahead and just set it on a plane like this. So this is what it's going to look and sound like. Now, before you get too excited and go, oh, this is gonna be awesome, there are a couple things that have to be covered in this. First and foremost, if you were using Unreal 5, there's something that you have to worry about and you have to turn on. If you're using Unreal 4, you don't have to worry about this, so you can skip this part. So, what we have to do is make a decision whether or not we wanna use Nanite as of this recording, or whether or not we actually wanna play these videos as of this recording. So I'm using Unreal 5.0.1. So, this is where that toggle is going to be at. Go up here into Edit, come down here into project settings. And once your project settings opens, come up here and do a search, use the letters R, H, I. And what we're looking for is this default R, H, I value. What you're gonna need to do is decide whether or not you wanna use Nanite, DirectX 12, or if you wanna actually run these videos, DirectX 11. So when you change this, uh, it will ask you if you wanna go ahead and reset the editor. So if you're gonna use this video, go ahead and set it to DirectX 11, and then go ahead and just do a restart. So now that we've got Unreal set up to actually play these videos, let's go ahead and get said video. I'll go ahead and leave this description to this website down below. And if you scroll down here just a little ways, what you're actually looking for is a supported video file right here. Um, so if you go ahead and click on this, it will bring up this right here, and then simply just click on this little ellipses down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead and just say download and go ahead and download this video. Now, you do want to put this video in somewhere very specific and it is inside of a movies folder inside of Unreal. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So the reason that having this movies folder that you see right here is going to be really important is if you want this to ship with your game, it has to be in this very specific location. So it's really easy. Just come into content and then just right click and create a new folder and just name it movies. So I'll go ahead and just open this up. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drag this over and grab that Unreal sample that I grabbed from that website. I'm gonna just drop it in here and it'll co close down. If you go to content, there we go, there's that Unreal sample. So cool, that's good to go. Now it's got a little asterisk on it, so you may wanna go ahead and save it. So just right click on it go ahead and say save. So this is the said video. I'm just gonna leave it named as is, but you can name it whatever you want. Next, we need some way of actually playing this video. So to make that happen, we just need a media player. And you can think of this media player like QuickTime or something like your Windows media player. So I'm just gonna right click inside here and we're gonna come over here to media and choose media player. Now this little pop-up is gonna ask you if you wanna actually set up the video output media texture asset. And we're gonna say yes, yes we do. Otherwise we're not gonna be able to play this. So make sure that this is toggled on and go ahead and click okay. So we have our media player, and I'm just gonna name this one my media player, like so. And you'll notice that it created a new little asset right here. This is the actual thing that that checkbox was telling it to create. So cool, now we have that part. So to get a better understanding of what this actual media player is, let's just go ahead and double click and open it up. And you can see it's kind of like a media player. It's got its own little interface. Now you can select the actual media down here below. And if you double click on it, it will actually play it. I'll come up here and go ahead and just pause this, right? And over here on the right, the, this is the important part. We want to make sure that this is set to play on open. So if that is not checked, it should be by default. But if it's not, go ahead and make sure that that is toggled on. So cool, that's our actual media player. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is saved. We can go ahead and close that down. Next, we need some kind of screen to play this on. So we're going to bring in just a simple plane. You may have your own model. So up here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and just click on our little quickly add to project button. So I'll click on that, type in plane, and we have our shapes plane. I'll go ahead and just click and drag this into my world, and I'm going to lift it up off of the floor. Now, I've done this a few times, so I know that I need to rotate it specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this green little part right here, and I'm going to click and drag it so it's 90 degrees this way, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it again another 90 degrees as I'm facing it clockwise, like so, and then go ahead and use my scale tools, and we'll just scale this up a little bit like so. So this is going to be our screen. I'll just kind of lift it up off of the ground. So with the screen created, next thing we need to do is actually add in the speakers because just because we can see it doesn't mean that we can actually hear it. So what I want to do is make sure that I have my actual screen selected. And over here inside of my details panel, I'm going to come over to the little add section right here. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to do a search for media sound. There it is right there. So media sound. Perfect. So this will go ahead and play the sound. So we need to tell it what sound to actually play. So down here below, we have our media player. And if we click on the word none, we actually have our my media player. So this is the one that I created earlier. So perfect. So there's that one. So now that we can hear it, 
let's actually set it up so that we can see it. So let's go and open up the content drawer. Go ahead and take that video and click and drag this onto there, like so. Perfect. So what this has actually done, you see there's a little message down here in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, is actually it's created a material. Um, you can go ahead and open this up, and this is what it's actually doing. It's taking that texture and going ahead and put it in that material. The material is now on the actual object. So yes, let's go ahead and save that down. So that's on there. Now, it's not playing yet, even though it's actually in there. So next, we need to go ahead and set it up so it'll play. And we're going to set it up so it'll play as soon as the actual game starts. And to make that happen, we're going to go ahead and use the level blueprint. So if you look up here, there is a little button that we're going to go ahead and click, this one right here. And within the dropdown, we'll, we'll choose the open level blueprint. Now, there shouldn't be anything in here. That's fine. Uh, if there is something in there for your level, you may need to kind of rearrange a few things. So what we need to do is actually set up a variable that's going to hold this media. So over here on the far left-hand side, you will find a little spot that says variables. Go ahead and just click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click right here where it says Boolean. And what I'm going to search for is media player. And what I'm looking for is the object type media player. It's got the little TV with the little rabbit ears on top of it. And I'm going to choose the object reference. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and give this a name. So I'm going to go ahead and just select it and hit F2 to rename it. We'll just call this media player. We'll keep it simple. Now, this media player does need to know what it's actually playing. And you'll notice over here it says default value. Please compile the blueprint. So we'll come up here to the top left, go ahead and compile that. And we need to choose which media we want to play. So click on the none, and here we have our My Media Player. So this is the same media that we were playing with the audio. Now we're playing the video part of it. So next, let's go ahead and just drag this in so we have a reference to it and go ahead and choose Get Media Player. And then off of our media player, what we need to choose is Open Source. So here's our open source. Excellent. Now we, again, need to choose which media source. So let's choose this Select Asset and go ahead and choose that video that we brought in that we downloaded. Now, we need some way of actually playing this. So we're going to play it as soon as the level actually opens. So what I'm going to do is hold down the P key as in play and left mouse click, and we will get event begin play. So I can just click and drag this wire and connect it right there. And then all we need to do is go ahead and compile this, save that. Now let's go back to the level and actually test it. So we can simply just go back up to the map and go ahead and hit play. So there you have it, a real easy way to go ahead and bring in a video, get its audio actually running, play it on a screen, and then have it happen as soon as you play the game. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, confusion, you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go and just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.